What's up, YouTube? It's the Zebra Guy, or Marty, or however you want to know me as. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I have my controller in my hand, which means one thing. It's a freaking game. Now, in this game, it is a farmer, sort of cozy core, cottage core game. Like, I haven't played a lot of them. I've played Cozy Grove. I've played Star uh, Dreamlight Valley, I think it's called. Stardew Valley. I've played a couple. My main one is Cozy Grove because it's fun. But this is a new one. This is available on Steam and on Xbox Game Pass. So we'll get on with that in a second. So you can see what I'm talking about. But you follow a witch and you follow a little cat. So what we're going to do, we are going to do about 20 minutes or so. I know a bit about this game. Because I gave it a little try and then my recording messed up. Yeah, that happens to us sometimes. So this is another playthrough. So anyway, I know what to expect because I've had a little play for, for, because of my recording. But you guys don't unless you've already played it. But what we're going to do, we're going to jump over to the other camera and we're going to have a check. And so you know what I'm talking about. So here we are. We're at the game. See, cool transitions, that's how we do it. We're playing Homestead Arcana. It's like I said, this is available on Steam and on Xbox Game Pass. I'm playing this on Steam using my Xbox controller. So yeah, I think we should just jump straight into it. So here we go. We are going to be called Billy because I can't be bothered to change any name. We are going to go with that. We are going to go with I'm pasty, so we're going to go with that. And I think that looks fine for the Okay, then let's go for some hair. No. Now the hair's changed. I'm pretty sure that was a different hairstyle I used. We'll use that one. I like that. There we go. That's This is what we're going to look like. Because, you know, witchiness. So, yeah. This is what we're going to look like. We're going to look like a witch. So, like I said, this is a cottage core, kind of a cosy game to play. So, yeah, there is that. Like I said, I haven't played many. So, let's give this a check. I'm pretty sure you lot will enjoy it. I'm not going to talk much so you can hear the voiceover. The graphics and setting looks amazing. Like I'm not going to complain about that. It does look pretty good. So what I know about the game is that you are a witch going into your own little homestead. You are joined by your talking cat companion, Huckleberry. So you'll see that cute little cat in a in a little while. Right next to the border, where the new Esmeralda, the little 
Ulrock Council cannot officially take action, they strongly advise these witches to avoid the miasma at all. It's bright and it's very colourful, which is a really good thing. There we go. There's the title screen. Homestead Arcana. So yeah, let's just enjoy it. This is your stop, ain't it? So for this playthrough, we are going to play the um, the rights, and then I'll leave it at that. So there's no spoilers for the game in case you want to play it. So in this we're just going to basically show the gist of what you need to do in the game. So the spell cast and the making, using the workbench and stuff like that. And then we'll leave it at that. Just so you can see a bit of the gameplay. Exactly. Let's go follow Huckleberry. Which I think is a really cute name for a cat. I would say it's my cat but I don't have a cat. I share one with my other half, who, which is at her place. She's a nice little um, black and ginger cat. So when I see cats in games, it's always cute. For me, I always like to be able to pet. Looks like we can't pet Huckleberry. That's what I always like about a game. If you pet the animals, it is a winner for me in a game. So here we are, this is our homestead. This is where we're going to grow crops, stay in a tent, and all of that other fun stuff. Now, as a Pokemon fan, Hogwarts does look like Umbreon to me. So, there is that. That means we've reached our spot. This place is hardly safe. Well, except for all that miasma. That individual ear flick is so freaking cute. Yeah. And Matilda's old homestead is somewhere in that canyon. Of course, it's covered in miasma now. Who knows what's left? Councilman Mayo has given me the honor of overseeing your initiation. Normally, he'd be running. So yeah, as you can see here, we are going to just <clears throat> we're going to do do the initiation rites, so we don't get to spoil the game for everyone. But you'll get the gist of the gameplay on growing crops, putting a tent down, and stuff like that. So here we go, let's go, this is the area for the tent, as you can see it's marked out. So we'll grab our tent, and we'll place it. So we're going to grow some corn, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over here. So this is where you start off, so we're going to highlight that. So we're going to be in this area. We will drop it. And now we're going to drop, use a water and spell. So we'll turn to the corn. 
and you can see in the front there you've got your d-pad directions so left on the d-pad is water so we're gonna press on that press that and there we go we are watering our crop Of course I know how to do um, channeling. I'm just going to let people know how to demonstrate it as well. So we are going to press down on the D-pad. As you can see right here on the screen. And then we're going to press the right bumper for channeling. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pick up these little beads of light. Pick them all up. And then right where the little orange target, yellow target is, we're going to click in there. And we have grown our first bit of corn. So we're going to channel again. We're going to press the right bumper. We're going to channel a bit more. And then we're going to grow another head of corn. There we go. And I think we're going to be able to grow one more. Start channel and let's pick up all the bits again. There we go. So we can harvest an ear of corn. So let's do that. On my earlier play, I did blight the crop, which means it made it ill. So we've done the second right, which is pretty cool. Now it's time for the third. You prove yourself as a witch by building a cauldron. And yes, yeah, so we're now going to build a cauldron. Okay, so we are going to build a workbench. Let's just harvest some more corn. No, wrong button. See, I want it up here, but it doesn't allow me to put it up here. Which is a bit silly. So we're going to place it right here. Oh Huckleberry, you are a nag. I want to place it there, so shush it, cat. So what we can do, we can press X. We can lift it. And let's move it. Let's move it over here. So yeah, here we go. We're now going to build a cauldron. So that's lucky. Huckleberry, Huckleberry has the things that we need. So that absolutely comes in handy. So we go here, we'll go to the workbench, we're going to go crafting station, we're going to go down highlight basic cauldron, hold the let, hold the A button, and we're going to make it. It takes about 8 seconds, so talk amongst yourselves. There we go, that is done. So then we press the right bumper to go over to the next side which says finish crafting, and we go to grab it and stick it in our infantry. So now we've got to make some potions. Here we go. So 
Now, a ripple potion is whenever we lose something or forget something. I think that's what it is. So, what we're going to do, we are going to go to our cauldron. Let's put that next to our workbench. There we go. We'll put that down. We will jump over to our thing. Let's go to our potions. I'm going to the ripple spell potion. Hold A to craft it. And now it's going to take eight seconds again. So talk amongst yourselves. So it shouldn't take too long. There we go. And like I said, you press the right bumper. Go over to swipe that, that side. And boom, they are done. Highlights items, creatures. And, and sight rangers. One of the first bars a young witch will learn. As it is as useful as it is easy to craft. There we go. Yeah, Parker Barry, you are right. So there we go. We have completed the initiation rites. Oh dear. Oh, Huckleberry, what have you done? Oh dear. It's fine. Right, so we are going to leave it at that, so give me a second. Right, so that was Homestead Arcana. I did only say I was going to go far as the initiation rights, so you got the gist of the game on what you need to do and basically what it's going to look like. Not a bad game, it's pretty cool, I'm not going to complain about it. Like I said, haven't played a lot of farming cottage core games but this is one for those that absolutely enjoy those sort of, sort of, blah, 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 sort of games sorry <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be a fun one you're a witch you got a nice little cat you're gonna be making your own little homestead but it looks like there's a story to follow so like i said i am going to give this game a bit more of a play but other than that it's a fun little game it is on Steam and it is on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, go download it and jump on. Have a bit of fun. If not, then it is on Steam. So yeah, not really much I can say about it. It's, it's a farming game. It's a, it's a kind of relaxing farming game. But you're a witch and you have a cute cat companion. So that always makes it fun. But they need to implement an update where we get to pet the cat because i know it's huckleberry i know he's your little companion but he needs pets as well we all know this so anyway that's enough of that i've been the zebra guy all mine thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video